So the brain in the cranium, cranial cavity is surrounded by three layer of uh, meninges. So th that is the prote protection to the brain. So these three layers of meninges are the dura mater, arachnoid and pia mater. So <coughs> this is the dura mater. So dura mater is a very thick uh, fold covering the uh, brain. So this dura mater has three folds, three double folds which are, first one is the fox cerebri. <coughs> This, this this is the fox cerebri, this entire thing. This will dip into the great longitudinal fissure. So that is the fox cerebri. It is a double fold of dura mater. And then in, and the fold of the dura mater into the tentorium cerebelli is the, so the fold in the transverse fissure is the tentorium cerebelli. So this fold, uh, these two are the tentorium cerebelli in here. And then around and on the ventral side of the uh, brain, around the pituitary, there is another fold called as diaphragma celli. That, that, this is the dura mater. So coming to the arachnoid, arachnoid is also another tough but very thin layer uh, which almost attaches to uh, the entire brain. It covers the entire brain. So this is the arachnoid. Whereas pia mater will dip into each and every gyrus and fissure of the brain. That, that is a pia mater. It's, it's, um, Okay, we'll study about the blood supply to the brain. So, brain mainly is supplied by um, many number of arteries. Uh, like uh, example is like vertebral artery, occipital artery, condyloid artery, meningeal artery, and rete branches of uh, maxillary artery. So, all these branches will mainly form some uh, the a tuft of uh, network of blood vessels. It is called as the rete mirabili cerebelli. So the, from the rete mirabili cerebri, there are two arteries originating. So here, that is called as the emergent arteries. So this is the emergent arteries. And from the emergent artery, three branches divide mainly. So this is the cranial cerebral artery, the middle cerebral artery, which will go into the, which will go into dip into the sylvan fissure and the caudal cerebral artery. Caudal cerebral artery will give rise to another branch here for the cerebellum called as cranial cerebellar artery. So the posterior cerebral artery after giving rise to the cranial cerebral artery will anastomose. So the posterior cerebral artery will anastomose to form the basilar artery. Now the, the two cranial cerebral arteries and the two uh, posterior cerebral artery all these will form something called as the circle of Willis. Uh, okay, now that is about the arterial supply to the brain. So the brain has a one peculiar uh, character that is it does not have any collateral veins. Okay, the, then the question arises how the brain uh, deoxygenated blood is drained from the brain. So the answer is the dura mater, folds of the dura mater that is the fox cerebri and tentorium cerebelli will have space in, in between them in the folds. These are called as the venous sinuses. So these are the venous sinus inside. There will be space. The blood which is uh, coming out of the brain are actually drained from arachnoid granulations. In the arachnoid there are granulations called as arachnoid granulations will drain the blood from the brain and into the uh, what? Into the into the venous sinuses. And then from the venous sinuses it is drained into the normal veins. So that is how uh, blood is drained about uh, from the uh, brain to the rest of the body. Uh, just besides the emergent arteries, th these are the emergent artery from the rete mirabili cerebri and from the, uh, just beside the emergent artery comes the third cranial nerve called as the oculomotor nerve. Now uh, here there, there should have been the rete mirabili cerebri and from where oculomotor nerve emerges and this is the trochlear nerve. So the small portion is the trochlear nerve which is the smallest nerve of the body. Okay, on the ventral surface of the brain, there there is something called as the optic chiasma. That is crossing over of the optic nerve. So this is the optic chiasma. And after the optic chiasma comes the tubercinarium, which is the stalk, which, which will continue then as a stalk of the pituitary gland. So here the pituitary gland will be located. After the pituitary gland or the tubercinarium comes the mammillary body. So this portion is called as the mammillary body. <coughs> 